Justin Rose achieved his dream of becoming world number one this year. His short game coach, John Hearn, helped him achieve that. So we asked Mitchell Spearman to find out how the Olympic champion has improved. John, I know you've been helping uh, Justin a little bit with his short game this year. Uh, share for us a little bit of what you saw he had a tendency to do and what you brought to the table to help him, uh, you know, obviously get to number one in the world. Uh, well, obviously, as you know, Justin's was uh, number four in the world and a fabulous player and a major winner and an Olympic champion and um, obviously very good at this game. Um, but we saw that there were some things that he could do uh, that could add a little bit more versatility to, to his game, um, especially around the greens. And, um, and so we've started to work on that and it's starting to come to fruition and he's had a, uh, some great success with it. Good, good. I mean, obviously, if you're number four in the world, you're doing a lot of things right. And it looks like it's Justin's nature to try to be really good or excellent in every area. So it's great that he, that he sought out some knowledge in short game. And uh, I know you've got a lot of knowledge. So will you share with us a couple of the things that maybe uh, uh, we could all learn from? Yeah, um, I mean, here we're on Bermuda grass, which is, uh, gives most amateurs the heebie-jeebies for sure. Um, and there's some very simple things you can do to um, really enhance your, your game around the greens. And uh, the first thing we would start to talk about is actually using the ground as your friend. Uh, a lot, I think a lot of amateurs, they use too much shaft lean, especially on this type of uh, grass. And we get that, that uh, leading edge digging in and, and we get thin fats. I mean, all types of things happen from there. So, um, and that was our starting point is just understanding how we can utilize the bounce. So the old adage of always put the ball back, put your hands forward, which is what we've all heard for years there's a new, let's use it, more modern way to be able to play these shots. Would that be yeah, right? Yeah, I think as golf's evolved, the greens have got harder and, and faster. And I think that particular type of style of, of play has started to you know, leave the game. And um, I think uh, the information that's out there now is, um, is uh, a lot more advanced on the tour and probably not necessarily as advanced for the general general players right. the, uh, and so yeah if we can just help them a little bit with that then I think right. uh, well give me a couple great. of secrets here show okay. me some, some so the first thing is uh, I never relate the golf ball to to the whip for stance I think that's number one rule okay is always link it to your uh, to your sternum okay. to your chest um, very simply I have three ball positions I have left armpit center of your sternum center of the chest so one two and three being the right armpit okay. or, or right breast and then gauging from there how much shafting you need at a dress depending on the trajectory. Okay. So, as I said, leading edge is your enemy, especially in this type of grass, so we're trying to uh, alleviate that. So, zero shaft lean, so having the shaft more vertical at address, okay. so we wouldn't want to have the ball back in our stance because that then engages the leading edge. Okay. So the first thing we'd start with is having the ball further up in your stance. So I'd say that's position one, more okay. towards the left armpit. Um, from there, we, you, know, you take your grip, I always like to try and apply five to 10 degrees of, um, with the face. So making so, sure so the face is slightly is open. open. Okay. Yep. And that okay. brings in more the back of the club, is yep. that right? Yeah, that engages the bounce more. Okay. Um, and there are some things you can do with your grip, which we'll talk about later. But if we're starting with just the ball position yep. further up, making sure that there's zero shaft lean. Yep. And then from there, applying, making sure that the sternum is over the ball. So although I'm actually applying, um, you know, zero shaft lean at address, right. I can still place my weight left, okay. right, which is key. Okay. Okay? So and then, using more the upper body to do that than very the, much the old so, fashioned yes, upper body. Okay, exactly. Good, and that adds good. more stability. Yep. And then from there, the key is to actually use your armpits to your advantage. So what I like to feel is a sensation of squeezing the arms okay. on, onto the torso. So a little bit of pressure yeah, there. Keeping okay. the pressure, which helps alleviate wrist. So we're gonna take away the wrist from this, then engage in the chest, our sternum to be the hub of the swing. And from there, all we need to do is maintain our setup. Right. So zero shaft lean, weight 70% to the left, face at about 10 degrees open. And then from there, we're just gonna engage the chest back through, okay? And from here, we're trying to feel like that dead arm feel. Okay, great, so let's heavy see arms. So we're here, zero shaft lean, weight 70% left, chest back, chest through. That's a lovely we play, strike. We play a chip shot and apply the spin. I love that. So if I hear what you're saying there, just a couple of things that, that, that to remember is you've got your different ball positions. You like the ball on that shot to be a little bit more forward with the hands level to the ball at address. Yes. And you get the club face slightly open to bring in the bounce. Your arms are applied to the side of your body, so you've got the constant pressure. You keep center. You talked about the weight being forward from the upper body, so it's not a lower body lean. It's more the upper body to sternum. And then it's just what you said, heavy arms, and so the, that minimizes the wrist and gets the rotation in the body. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. What, what was interesting to me about that shot was two things. 
The face was open, the ball was forward, but it didn't come out high, which is what one would think. And it also came out with a lot of spin, which again, you would think you'd need to put the ball more back to do that. So if you're looking to improve your short game, there's a different and better way, especially on these tougher lies. And basically that just means when it's hard for the club to get through the ball, there's a lot of grain, so the club gets a bit stuck down there. So that's a new insightful way for you to improve your shots around the green.